Changes to Ohio's gun laws could be coming. Governor John Kasich hinted at it over the weekend. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill today spoke with people on both sides of the gun reform issue. Tyler's story is new tonight at 10. Six and a half pounds, a little over two and a half feet long, and for 500 to 600 bucks, accessible in less than 10 minutes. I'm talking about semi automatic rifles, and I would know. I took the standard background check to get approved to buy a gun in Ohio today. I started at 409, and at 417, you were approved. And at that moment, every gun in the store was available for purchase. I think today's day and age, um, you know, they, your system. You know, it's all computerized. It runs right through it. Know exactly who you were and that uh, you were not a felon. Uh, no open warrants, things like that. All they're looking for is felonies and misdemeanors with violence. I think that's a problem as well. I think we need to beef up that background check. There has to be a mental health component to that. Ohio State Senator Joe Schiavone says there are too many loopholes while purchasing a gun, and he's reached out to Governor John Kasich to fix that. Governor Kasich updated his website with a page on what he calls common sense on the Second Amendment, which mentions potentially expanding background checks and limiting sales on some weapons. Would you feel as though your Second Amendment's rights would be eroded because you couldn't buy a god darn AR-15? Youngstown Rifle and Pistol Club President Dan DiTullio says yes. I feel that they're, they're attacking this problem the wrong way. And the right way would be to go after, like I said, the individuals. And we definitely have a problem, but it's not a gun problem. It's a, it's a person problem. It's a mental health issue problem. No movement yet on anything related to gun law reform. There's only been discussions in Columbus. Reporting in the newsroom, Tyler Trill, WKBN 27 First News.